If you haven't been paying attention to the Orlando Magic this season, you need to be studying the defensive mastery of Sir Jalen Suggs. Suggs is only 22 years old, but he plays like a 10-year vet, hawking ball handlers with relentless ambition and chasing guys around screens like a madman. The Magic currently boasts the third best defensive rating in basketball, and a large reason is because of his ferocious defense. Orlando will frequently have him guard the other team's best perimeter player, and what stands out to me about Suggs' defense is his physicality. On bigger wings like Jason Tatum, watch how he slides his feet perfectly and rotates his hips when needed, and also stays vertical for a good contest. As for guards, Suggs will get into the ball handler like he does Tyus Jones here, causing him to lose his dribble multiple times before fighting around a ball screen to keep him on his hip. In their game last week against the Celtics, Suggs harassed Tatum so much that he basically turned him into a corner shooter when he was guarding him in the third quarter. This type of ball pressure is annoying for guys to deal with. Suggs will frequently pick up at midcourt, capitalizing on lazy ball handling, looking to turn any mistake into a transition opportunity. He very rarely gets beat off the dribble, but when he does, he has the lateral quickness to recover and still contest shots. Donovan Mitchell gets by Suggs with a clear lane for a dunk, but watch as he accelerates almost like he's sprinting in a 100 meter event and how on earth does he block this shot? No! At 6'5 without shoes, Suggs is long and strong enough to even bother bigger wings in the post. In their brief two game series against the Celtics last week, Suggs had multiple possessions where he held his own against Tatum in the post and forcing him into difficult fadeaways. Watch as he fights for low post position with Pascal Siakam here, working to front him before getting the steal and it's off to the races. OG Ananobi tries him again in the second half, but Suggs digs down and absolutely takes his lunch. My goodness. Watch how low he gets on defense. This is crucial to making sure he's balanced and can handle the physicality that comes with defending in the post. Jeremy Grant tries him on this play, but it only takes two dribbles for him to realize this isn't working, and Suggs then swipes down and forces the turnover. Jalen Brown suffers the same fate here. Brown has been going to the post more frequently this year, but Suggs digs down again and those big paws swipe down and it's another steal. Those paws also love to play the passing lanes. Suggs will often lunge out to take away errant passes almost like a free safety in football. Here he's a step ahead, so he lunges to intercept this Jalen Johnson pass before a transition take foul stops what would have been an easy layup. Later on in the same game, DeJounte Murray throws a careless cross court pass to Trey Young. Suggs reads it and it's two points the other way. Suggs is currently tied for third in the NBA in steals and it's this relentlessness that makes him so frustrating for other teams to handle. I mean, this dude is quite literally a human energizer bunny. He just keeps going and going and going and going and go. I might have gone too far there, but I'm not sure if there are many guards in the league right now that will even think about jumping a pass like this in transition. LeBron gets the ball off a reddish rebound and is ready to throw it ahead to D'Lo before Suggs swoops in out of nowhere like he's 2004 Ed Reed. At Gonzaga, Suggs averaged almost two steals a game, routinely jumping passing lanes even without help behind him. This requires perfect anticipation, not only of tendencies, but play calls as well. In the NBA, teams have to be insanely coordinated in order to stop a single possession, which is why being able to scope out threats off the ball is just as important. Suggs knows Scoot Henderson has the driving angle here, so he sprints to the corner to anticipate the skip pass early to Markel Fultz's man because he was rotating over to help on Scoot's drive. 
This is nanosecond processing that only the game's best defensive players possess. Here he anticipates the Cavs running a Spain pick and roll, so he calls out a switch to Franz Wagner so he can pick up his man Darius Garland and prevent any advantage. This type of awareness also comes in handy on unsuspecting offenses. He knows DeAndre Ayton wants to go to the spin move, so he waits for him to make his move before sneaking him as soon as he goes. This gambling style doesn't always pay off though. He tries to sneak Tatum from behind here, but he misses and it leads to an open three for Boston. There's typically diminishing returns when you play a style like this, but based on what I've seen from film, he rarely misses on this. Orlando goes zone here, and you can see Suggs just waiting for this cross court pass attempt. He jumps as soon as Shamit puts two hands on the ball and peep this D-Wade to LeBron homage on that lob attempt. Suggs currently leads the NBA in defensive EPM, and although he actually has a negative on-off rating, I think this is mostly due to the Magic having exceptional defenders at every position. His teammate Goga Batadze actually ranks 5th in defensive EPM and he's been exceptional during Wendell Carter's absence. On the podcast we've talked about the lengthy defensive unicorn that's Jonathan Isaac and he's typically the one who replaces Jalen Suggs in his minutes. Nonetheless, Suggs' impact in the passing lanes and harassing ball handlers is elite, and that's not even mentioning his screen navigation. With all the dribble handoffs and spread pick and rolls that are run in today's game, having a guard at the point of attack who can get around several screens is paramount. Watch Suggs on this play. He's basically stride for stride with Terry Rozier after getting around this screen, and he uses his off arm to almost propel himself forward. He doesn't bite on the hesitation move, and he gets in front of him to draw an offensive foul. Against the shifty Donovan Mitchell, Suggs jumps in front of the screen to deny him middle, which forces a kick out and ultimately leads to a tough shot. On the dribble handoff, Suggs stays on Mitchell's hip, which means his driving attempt is wider than normal and the Magic's help defenders can get the steal from the nail. Now, Suggs isn't just a defensive guy. He's improved as an outside shooter and has great vision for a third year player. He'll try an outlet pass every now and then and even an over-the-shoulder pass to a cutter that would make Magic Johnson proud. All in all, what Suggs is able to do defensively playing just over 26 minutes a game is impressive. According to Synergy tracking data, teams are only scoring 0.92 points per possession when Suggs is defending the ball handler in pick and roll, which is on par with defensive wizards like Derek White. He's averaging just over two and a half deflections a game, which is more than guys like OG Ananobi and Asar Thompson. His impact on that end rivals some of the best guards in the game right now. And if I had a vote, he would easily be on my list of guards worthy of all defensive consideration. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've made it to the end, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. But most importantly, comment down below your thoughts. This is my first time making this type of content, so any feedback would be greatly appreciated. I've linked my social media profiles down below as well if you're interested in more in-depth threads, articles, and research. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.